Welcome back to Catharsis. Okay, I was going to use a rope arrow on those beams to get down. But this is not very rope arrowable. Which is really awkward, and vine arrows don't stick to this kind of metal, I don't think. So, I think my new plan... Oh, there's a vent over there. Doesn't seem to be anyone around, but the jumping is awkward thanks to these small pipes. Um, Alright, that's one way, but it goes down into this room, doesn't it? Maybe not goes down into the hallway from which I was looking into this room? Hmm. Can't see anything on up here to attach a vine to, so. I think I'm just going to try dropping onto the table and hoping it doesn't hurt too much. Oh! I mean, that's maybe the definition of too much. If I landed on the candlestick, it might have been better, but I didn't. I just love their noisy surfaces here. Just a bad wine. What's over there? Nothing, just a pipe. Alright, this room is not as exciting as I thought. Hello? Where is this? It looks vaguely familiar and yet not. Do I have any healing items? I can't remember. The answer is no, I used them all up. Wait. Oh no, this is a different window box. I was going to say, isn't this just outside the, uh, the guy's office? But no. Oh, it's the opposite corner from his office. Leaves are closed, no particular reason to leave it open. Wait, then does this go to his office? I see a window up there. Is this the hallway behind the office? This is the hallway behind the office. Okay, so I didn't come down these steps or walk up the ones opposite there. Oh no, maybe dig up the ones over there. I forget. Either way, I have come around in circles. I had not intended to come around in. At least not particularly. And uh, took damage for it, which is not so cool. I have quite a lot of water arrows now and I haven't really found anything to use them on. That looks... There's a, definitely a cavity up above, right? Here it was, here I thought this place was completely free of enemies, but nope. On the plus side, more loot. I think this mission has the setting a record for uh, most number of pickpockets in at least in any mission I've seen recently. Alright, that's two of the outside patrollers, I guess. They're going, going in and out. I don't know. Maybe. What I was wondering is, is there a passageway up through there? Now I need to wait for this guy to leave. I can see maybe from the barrel like a mantle something about the light. 
Come on, come on, mate. Get a wriggle on. We don't have all day, you know? I know you do, this is your job. You have to do it all day, that's, that's the rules. No, there's no way through up there, but there does seem to be an upper level. <clears throat> Just not reachable from here, that's... You can see parallaxing through the hole around that lamp. And then up here, you can definitely see more in the way of uh, beams and stuff up there. And um, actual openable things. Oh, why is all this being boarded up? Oh, that's not going to stop any sound, is it? Shit, it's bright. And that was noisy. I don't think he uh, saw anything. Are you somebody whose pocket I picked already? No. something. Nothing making noise now. You did, but uh, it was a mistake. Ah. There's a way up there. Oh, Silent Crowbar. I mean, okay, that's not really how a crowbar would work there, but that's fine. What have we got in here? <laughs> Clotho. Okay, it's not tea drop. <gasps> Is that it? What? What are those? Metal beams sticking out. Weird. So, mate, you're not going to notice this door that was boarded up. It's suddenly unboarded up, are you? Oh, that's a different guy. The brain uses a number of chemicals as messengers to communicate with other parts of the brain and nervous system. These chemical messages, known as neurotransmitters, are essential to all of the brain's functions. Since they are messengers, they typically come from one place and go to another to deliver their messages. Where one neuron or nerve cell ends, another one begins. In between two linked neurons is a tiny space or gap called a synapse. In a simple scenario, one cell sends a neurotransmitter message across this synaptic junction and the next cell receives the signal by catching the messenger chemical as it floats across the synapse in a receptor structure. The receiving neuron's capture of the neurotransmitter chemicals alerts it that the message has been sent, and this neuron in turn sends a new message off to additional neurons that it is connected to, and so on down the line. Importantly, neurons cannot communicate with each other except by means of the synaptic chemical message. The brain would cease to function in an instant if chemical messengers were somehow removed. By providing a mechanism for allowing neurons to communicate with one another, neurotransmitters literally enable the brain to function. There are millions and millions of individual synapses in the brain. The neurotransmitter traffic and activity occurring inside those synapses is constant and complicated. There are many different kinds of neurotransmitter chemicals in the brain. The neurotransmitters that are implicated in bipolar illness include dopamine, norepinephrine, serotonin, GABA, gamma and gamma aminobutyrate, glutamate, and acetylcholine. Researchers also suspect that another class of neurotransmitter chemicals, known as neuropeptides, including endorphins, somatostatin, uh, somatostatin, vasopressin, and oxytocin, play an important role in both normal and bipolar brains. Measuring neurotransmitters, their chemical variants, locations, and their effects constitutes a large area of study in bipolar research. It is known that these chemicals are in some way unbalanced in the bipolar brain compared to normal brain. 
For example, GABA is observed to be lower in the blood and spinal fluid of bipolar patients, while oxytocin active neurons are increased in bipolar patients. But the relevancy of these findings to overall brain function in bipolar and normal individuals is not yet understood. Whether the presence, absence or change in these chemicals is a cause or outcome of bipolar disorder remains to be determined, but the importance of neurochemicals in creating bipolar disease is indisputable. Ah, this one has more complete beams up above. I see. Not hiding anything around the bed, are you? Still. It's a, it seems a strange detail. That has no function. Is our archer friend coming this way? I think it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course it's the archer and the soldier. Wait, he's, he's somebody new. He's got a pocket I haven't picked. Ah, oh, here's the outer friend. <laughs> good, good. Nobody noticed that. So I can see another possibility for access up there. I don't see a way to get up there, so... Someone... Heard or saw something. There is a star in heaven that comes out every night. I know that star is you who has come to say good night. Forever in our hearts, Mom and Dad. Tomorrow at dawn in the hour when the countryside becomes white, I will leave. You see, I know that you are waiting for me. I will go by the forest, I will go by the mountain. I cannot stay far from you any longer. I will walk eyes fixed on my thoughts without seeing anything outside, nor hearing any noise. Alone, unknown, the back curved, the hands crossed. Sad, and the day for me will be like the night. I will not look at the gold of the evening which falls, nor the faraway sails descending towards the city. And when I arrive, I will put on your tomb a bouquet of your rose and your favorite dolls. Now that touched by these divine sights, plains, forests, rocks, little valleys, silvery river, seeing my smallness and seeing your miracles, I come back to my senses before their immensity. We never see but a single side of things. The other plunges into the night of frightening mystery. Man bears the yoke without knowing why. All he sees is short, useless, and fleeting. Place on your tomb, a bouquet of rose, and your favorite dolls. Well, that, there was a particle effect, the game acknowledged that, but if it does anything, I don't know what. I wouldn't expect anything much, right? honestly, like it's just, it's a thing you can do. There's no reason for it to be mechanically significant. Somebody hanging around in here. Down 
downstairs maybe? Can't see anyone. Is that soldier coming this way? Oh, there she is. Oh, there's an archer come to. They both apparently heard me? Or caught a glimpse of me or something? Thought he was about to see me there. Came a little too close for comfort. Hear that? I don't know, you're probably gonna hear other people yelling, so you're joining the knockout club. She got spooked by him yelling, which is annoying because she didn't see anything. He's annoyed. Easier to do in here. No, it's not. God, I can't fucking knock How you out. Righteous fall and then be crushed. All right, I need a way out. So he can't, just where he can't follow. Because I cannot KO him. So this is something degenerated into a complete failure. That's not the way out. Ah, the window. Croak, treacherous toad. Ribbit, ribbit. Call me a toad, will you? I'm more of a treacherous frog. Thou may laugh for the moment, but thou wilt cry ere long. Ah! Where did he go? How did he vanish so quickly? Or maybe you went out that door. To the left there. Great! So, everybody knows I'm here, everybody's alerted. And there's enemies you can't knock out, and I'm not allowed to kill them. Good, good. Excellent. Although, I do like this... This angle. I'm just going to sit here and wait a minute, give people a minute to uh, calm their nerves. To forget they ever saw me. Also to calm my nerves. And try to remember which way I was going.
Well, I didn't come out here and blow up those guys, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, he must have gone that way. I think he was one of the mechanists guarding the, like, office. Right, she's back here and has calmed down again. Okay, it doesn't look that bright in this spot, but... Everything is pretty dim. Okay, she's just a servant, just sweeping up there. Oh. It's more blood. <coughs> Definitely has not been... The things have not been going... <gasps> the best. Didn't hear that, did you, ma'am? I suppose... Well, no, I can't kill him. It's, it's not that I don't have the arrows with which to do so. So I'm not permitted to do so. <coughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. And what about nasty metal strip there? God created man in his image, in the divine image he created him, male and female he created them. Truly children are a gift from the Lord, the fruit of the womb is a reward. Come from my courts no more, bring no more worthless offerings, your festivals I detest. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen, your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean, learn to do good. Make justice your aim, redress the wronged, hear the orphan's plea, defend the widow. They mingled with the nations and learned their works. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons, and they shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, desecrating the land with bloodshed. In those days Mary arose and went with haste to the hill country, to a town in Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. There shall be no more death. Okay, we have somebody... Which side do they usually keep purses on? I could maybe knock him out. I see is there's nothing else in this chapel, right? I mean, there might be something down on the, among the benches. I do have a few more mass arrows, but I kind of want to keep them for tactical use. Hello, what have we got here? Hole. I'm not really sure I want to go down. I'm supposed to up. 
but uh, if he sees me, that's what I'm running to, I guess. Valuable. It's on the wrong side. She's standing in a pile of dust and coughing and complaining repeatedly about how filthy the air is. She thinks she might sweep up the dust. Might do have more effects than the complaints on on improving air quality. But what do I know? Oh, there's a mechanist friend who can't open the door. Poor fellow. Wonder what they think of him. I have a feeling what's so twitchy about these guys is I think he's probably... ...adjusted their uh, sensitivity... ...to either touch or the short range vision. I know other, and I know other FM authors have done that and talked about it. Talked about it as, as a on the forums and stuff as, you know, here's how you do this. What it means is, basically takes away, away your ability to hide and forces you into going to knock everyone out more. On the plus side, the patrols are infrequent, so I hadn't even realized that they came in here, because it's lucky for me they didn't come in here while I was sneaking through the more visually observable Areas, I guess. <laughs> Careful, guy. Watch those footsteps. I don't know what walking on metal is for, because you can sometimes, like, just then make footsteps, accidental footstep sounds, and not notice. I mean, and they won't hear it, but it's unclear when they hear it, they're immediately highly suspicious. Another silent cover, okay. Do I just try dropping down here? I don't know if I have the health. But hey, why not? Okay, soft landing. Oh. There's a statue in among the pile of stuff at the bottom. And... I can't crowbar that open. So what do I do here? Am I stuck? That was another coin. It's too high to reach. What? There's no grills or anything to attach a vine arrow to. Is this just a dead end? Yes, I can try. I mean, this is just gonna waste a vine arrow. I'm gonna have to reload. Help. Help. Oh, that was the last one I had. Did I tell you? As soon as I find you, 
Yeah, yeah, dead. I mean, I'm gonna have to reload, so that's not gonna happen, because this is a odd dead end. Okay, well, there's loot down there that apparently can't be picked up. Oh, there's grills all around. So I guess I'm supposed to do something like this. I'm supposed to realize first that I need to put the, the vine in and then <sighs> fail because the vine is too close to the edge. And the physics won't let me climb it. Okay, that works. Right. It's slightly problematic design. What's that other one coin? There's one other coin. Slightly problematic design, but uh Come on. Grab the thing, Garrett. There we are. <laughs> but not impossible. Okay. I really want to be up on those upper levels. Oh. Is that our mechanist friend or is that a different one? I think that's our mechanist friend. My yes? name's Drudge. Stop! What, what is Take it? Take thou no Hello? further action. Hey. I shall cudgel thee. Bye, friends. Away with my window ledge of safety. No idea how that mechanism heard me because I was on silent ground. But he heard me anyway. Oh well. The thing is, I feel like I've. Well, I haven't been to the treasure room, right? Still got a lot of stuff to go, but I haven't been to the treasure room. If I go back around the outside of this, we'll have access to the lab and the treasure room now. Um, one of which is over there. I think that's the lab, and the other is on this side. Okay. So far, so clumsy. I used my gas mine, didn't I? It's right on the mechanists. Well, the good news is I wanted to come back up here anyway.
he is going to see me as soon as I come out of there. Don't have any flash bombs. I can't knock him out. I'm not allowed to kill him. My guard's given up. What can I do then? Shoot an arrow up that way and distract him, I guess, is my best option. Halt, weed. Thou art not welcome here. I'm gonna leave that door that you're guarding. I lift every stone till I find thee. Ugh! How did you see me there? Thou art ended. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. May find thy mark. Ah! Croak, treacherous toad. I croaked. I croaked. So he saw me from eyes in the back of his head. Go on, over there. Reveal thyself and surrender. No, oh, next, go to the next room, you fool. as well. Oh. Oh, this is a lift. I see. With some broken... some floors it did not work on. Okay, well that's how the distraction tactic worked. I don't know how... Twitchy he still is, and whether I can get his pocket or not, or whether he'll see me with his eyes in the back of his head, just trying to reach for it. It will also reduce the frog distance on all these pockets. What's this flashing light? It's a bright yellow flash every now and again. It kind of feels just like a mistake. This ain't me. I like how I went tried to put the other button and it just broke off. There's more further down as well. Hmm. There's a lot further down. What is this place? I was looking to go up, but apparently down is where it's all happening. Alright, Again, this keeps flashing. Yellow. It's hard. Ah, well, somebody died there. Not in the chest.
However, where did I leave my other vine arrow? I don't remember. I can make this. Well, there's another one. Which I will probably need it immediately, because... Yeah. Problem is when standing in water you can't use one, so... Hello, what's... Four X's. That looks like a pattern. Two small X's diagonal. Like that, and then two big X's. I mean maybe they were just maybe that was just the person who fell down here marking their uh, Marking off days and then they died? I don't know. Probably doesn't mean anything. Oh, the fact that I can't actually stand anywhere to shoot a vine arrow is, is more concerning. Okay, I can stand here. Nope. I can kind of back into a corner here. Nope. Oh, they had some coins on them too. Guess I should grab those. Dang it, I need to get it over there. My drawer's animation takes too long. Alright, well, let's just see if I can grab my existing vine, maybe, mantle this. Because as soon as I pull it out, I, I stop. Alright, I can stand here and maybe make this work. Ugh, okay, that worked. It was awkward, but it worked. Alright. Escaped. The mines will not claim me this time like they did the other victim. This is also very awkward to navigate. But that's okay. Not as bad as that. Why not? So you think it's a big flash again? It's like. It's like the whole thing lights up to be probable, but it isn't. It's very strange. I'm gonna go up floor by floor here, because... Oh, I can't go any higher. So, if I ever could go any higher... I can't now. Although, hmm... I do see... Actually, I wonder, is that... Can I find out of that grill? No. Some grills you can, some you can't, so... What I can find out is this. Again, with a little weirdness, but it does actually work. And maybe I can... Hmm... So maybe I can jump across there. And mantle that. Seems unlikely.
Well, if if it's possible, that then that is not the way to do it. <gasps> are these wooden beams? Oh, these are wooden beams. I thought they were metal like everything else. Okay. So I could actually just rip out of these beams themselves. Fine. I had no idea. I certainly didn't expect... Oh God, what are you getting stuck on? Thank you. I certainly didn't expect wooden beams all of a sudden. But fair enough. So it means I could rip my way back up significantly further. If I needed to. Careful now. So maybe I should try. Is that where it just was? Surely not. <laughs> oh, I see. There's just a small glimpse. Something hidden there that I hadn't seen. All right, that's was very well hidden. That is not a good jump. Let's try this again. I realize I haven't been to the bottom of the lift shaft. Is that a ladder? Is that a ladder going all the way up? Am I, am I doing this the hard way? Where's my flares? You know what? God damn it, Garrett. There's a ladder. Doing this the hard way. Because <laughs> nothing else is good enough for Garrett. Alright, what about these elevator buttons? floor even have any controls. It's got some friends. Somewhere. Maybe they're a level further up. They can't go any further up. Oh, I just keep seeing that. Oh! Hmm. Now I was going to say, maybe that's the flash. Uh, you'll forget about it soon enough. I can see a control panel up there, but I can't see any buttons on it. Oh, there's buttons. So maybe... I can do the hit the button with the arrow thing. No. Sometimes I can hit my targets. Atropos. Fruit. Beautiful. So that's a second doll. Where's that silent crab? I guess we're gonna have to take that down to the tomb as well. So 
where does this take me? I don't know, but I can't get out. I can't see any controls for this gate either. Maybe that's just a tease? Where's our zombie friend? I thought he was on this level. There doesn't seem to be anything else on this level. I think it is the flash of, of frobbiness as a result of this being attached to the elevator and kind of causing slight confusion in things that are probable and not. Wait, it's missing entire floors here. I guess it's okay, I don't need need those floors particularly. <laughs> so our zombie friend is there, I can see him now. Can I fit in there? Probably not, right? Something's trying. The answer seems to be no. <laughs> but also, thankfully, it was too small for me to fall to my death. So, up the ladder. Nothing, dude. Why don't you be able to get there? So, oh. ow. Well, I'm going to keep sticking by my rule. <gasps> fit through there. It feels like almost I could. Well, I can get stuck here. Bash the keys. Nothing's working now. I'm completely, I'm completely stuck. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not completely stuck. I became unstuck. Eventually. Did I, did I check out this level yet? <laughs> well, this is where I was when I fell, okay. Oh. I have to change ladders. Just me back to the top. <laughs> right, but well we had the passageway leading outside that we couldn't get outside with. And there's definitely a roof up here. So we're not going to be able to get up here. I can go down the easy way though. I suppose that's a noisy way. You know what? Maybe I should get down the ladders. As long as I can see, if I can see when the ladder ends.
Probably means for safety's sake. Getting up on each floor. Maybe a way to get in there where the zombie is, but if there is, I can't see it, so. We'll leave him to worry about. About everything. Alright, reload. Turns out the ladder is not very safe. I'm gonna go up. Did I get this already? No, okay. I'm gonna go up to the top. And once up at the top, I will summon the lift again. Christ. This is extremely unsafe, apparently. Yeah, yeah. You heard a clang. Glad to have given you a moment of excitement in your otherwise extremely boring life, Mr. Zombie. Although, I wonder... Should be able to climb up to that, right? Is there anything up here? No. Alright, well, let's summon the lift. We need to take the lift all the way to the bottom, I guess. One of these days it'll arrive. It's very slow and very noisy, but you know. It does get me up and down with a little more safety than these ladders have been doing. So I will forgive it. Same room, because this is extremely loud. Guess this isn't quite the bottom, is it? This is, I've been here already. Right, yes, this is where I started ripping up, right? So we want to go one... Oh, this is the bottom. Let's see we want to go one further down. We definitely want to go further down. But maybe we have to take the ladder? through. It is more further down as well, but uh, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for the next one.